the easiest place to start is with the epilepsy literature. Because again, I'm a psychiatrist and we use epilepsy treatments all the time. So in the epilepsy field, when they use the ketogenic diet for seizures, they usually tell people this probably is not going to need to be a lifelong diet for you. Mm. They usually tell people two to five years. We want you to be on this diet for two to five years. And then we're actually going to encourage you to tra- try to transition off the diet to see how you do. More than 50% of people are able to transition off the ketogenic diet and maintain the same benefits that they got. And what we think is happening in the brain in particular, but actually throughout the body. Is that the ketogenic diet induces two kind of scientific processes. One's called mitophagy and the other is called mitochondrial biogenesis. And so both of them relate to these things called mitochondria. And what the first one, mitophagy, means that it kind of gets rid of old or defective mitochondria and replaces them with new ones. And mitochondrial biogenesis means that your cells actually start producing more mitochondria. So that at the end, so if you do keto or carnivore for two years, most of your cells will actually have more mitochondria than they did to begin with. And those mitochondria will be healthier. Mm. And we think that that is probably the critical element in improving health so that you know, you've gone through your kind of metabolic reset or mitochondrial reset or reboot or whatever we want to call it. And so your cells are actually much, much healthier than they were before you started any of the diet. And and that means that your cells can handle carbohydrates sometimes. Your Mm -hmm. cells can handle those things. Now, if you started eating tons of junk food that we know is really bad for mitochondria, so high fructose corn syrup is not good for your Mm -hmm. mitochondria, causes inflammation, causes all. If you started eating a lot of junk food and at the same time you were highly stressed, you probably would start slipping back into depression. I will say that I have met some people, even people with epilepsy who aren't able to stop the diet. Yeah. Um, And uh, they, when they ever, almost every time that they try to stop the diet, their symptoms come back and sometimes come back with a vengeance. Yeah. And so, so I think that there are some people who need the diet long-term and maybe even for life. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.